I'm going to do the threshing floor. And I know the level of the anointing that God wants in that building. He wants to purify me to another level. And I was telling my husband, I said, when you look around yourself and you really don't see, you think you really, you know, I, I, I done gave up everything I know to give up. That's the time to purify. Because now you have gotten rid of everything you see. And now it's time for God to dig up some stuff you don't see. And so the deeper, the deeper the purging and the deeper the cleansing, the greater the anointing. And so I said to my husband, the level of God that I need to have on my life to stand in that auditorium, I'm not purged out to that realm. I can handle where I am, but I need to go back to my altar. And Bethel was an altar. It wasn't a 5 a.m. prayer for, for people just to come. It was a place where I went and cried out to God and where he dug me out. Every Tuesday, if anybody get the tapes, you could hear me pray. It wasn't even about the prayer. You could hear me praying, wash me, cleanse me, purge me. God, anchor my soul, anchor my emotions. And so I got I to gotta go and stabilize in the spirit. I was going to do the prayer because God told me to do the prayer in Atlanta just so I can in, begin to impart that spirit into the city. And then I'm going to be there for six weeks. And then after that six weeks period, I'm going back to New York to the altar because I want God, I don't want nothing in me to be a hindrance to nothing he's going to do because he's promised me a visitation. He has promised me in prayer a visitation. And I told my husband, I said, I know that the threshing floor is in Waycross, but a month or so ago I went to Waycross and, 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 and Elder Nash, I got on the floor and I just began to, you know, cry out to God. And I was just really crying out to God. And the Lord removed me from the floor. Sister Nash, she said, come off of this floor. And so when I came off the floor and I went and sat down, Sister Loretta, I, I was confused. And I was like, you know, well, God, you know, this is a threshing floor. And I can't come to you. And, and I'm feeling like, you know, I'm hurting and I'm going through things. And, that, and he said to me, this is not your altar. He said, this is the floor that you work on. You travail for the world on this floor. This is the floor where you pick up everybody else's burdens. You don't lay yours down because you desecrate the whole purpose. And I was like, I said, okay, all right, then what is going on? And he said, when well, it's time for you to go to altar, you don't come and dump your trash out on the lives of what I'm birthing out for other people. You don't put your trash in their prayer cloths. You don't hear me. You don't put what you're going through it and the defilement of your temple on this floor. You asked me to forgive you for all your sins before you step on this floor. You asked that anything in me, God, that I've offended you or anybody, you forgive me, and then you step up there and go to work. This ain't where you cry, clean me out. Because if I clean that spirit out, where is it going? If people were healed and delivered by the cloths that Paul and them wore on their body and demon spirits and sicknesses was driven out, then why are you putting that same thing in the cloth when the cloth is supposed to be the thing to draw? Okay. Okay. 